Hello my friends, we're back today with this beautiful green makeup. It makes me think of Princess Fiona and Tree Frogs, but let's go with princess, I want to be a princess. So <laughs> enough rambling, let's get into the look. We're starting with the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation and tapping that into the skin. I find that this is the best way to maintain the coverage of a foundation, but still achieve a natural finish. This is a light coverage foundation and that's really as opaque as I like my foundations to be. Any more coverage and I feel like it's not really my skin anymore. I'm using the e.l.f. Putty Color Corrector under my eyes. It's like a color corrector and an eye cream in one. It is so hydrating under the eyes and I do not find that this product causes creasing, but I follow it up with a matte concealer. If you used a hydrating concealer on top of this, you might experience more creasing. I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. It pairs perfectly with the e.l.f. Color Corrector. However, I cannot use this concealer alone as it's far too drying for my under eyes. It ages me by like 50 years. So I always have to use the e.l.f. Color Corrector with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm using the Beauty Bay Bright Mattes palette and I'm dipping into the shade Labyrinth and tapping that on my inner and outer corner. We want to deposit as much pigment as possible, we'll worry about the blending later. As a side note, I do not like this palette, there's a lot of fallout, a lack of pigment and the shades are very powdery. Contrasting this with the Beauty Bay Rich palette which is creamy, pigmented and has almost zero fallout. I'm not sure if I just received a dud or if there's a massive difference in quality between the palettes. I only have these two palettes, but if anyone else has any more experience with Beauty Bay palettes, please do let me know your experience in the comments below. I'm using the shade Granny Smith to blend out the dark green. I do not smoke out my eyeshadow a lot because the sides of my face are very short. So if I do that, it'll draw attention to the short sides and make my face seem unbalanced. I prefer to place a brighter color on my inner corner to pull my eyes in as that suits my face shape better. I'm using the shade Enough from my Danessa Myricks Lightwork 5 palette on my inner and outer corner and blending that softly. I'm then applying Evolving on the center of my lid and on the inner corner. On my lower lash line, I'm going to place the shade Abundant with an angled brush. I like placing color on my lower lash line as it draws my eyes down and makes them seem more bottom heavy. This makes my features appear more youthful as eyes placed quite high up on your face look more mature. So if you want to make your eyes seem lower with makeup, just add color to the lower lash line or draw an egg yourself. I'm applying bronzer to the perimeter of my face and adding a bright pink blush to the tops of my cheeks. I am brushing my brows up with some NYX brow glue and adding some mascara to my lashes. I'm not using false lashes today as I'm gonna shower right after this, but I took some videos with filters and I added some false lashes in there just so that you could see the look and feel the vibe. I'm using MAC Business Casual and a red lip gloss from e.l.f. Red is the contrasting color of green. Contrasting colors create a bold and stylish look because by contrasting each other, they make each other seem brighter and draw the attention of an observer's eye. I'm using White Panda from Suva Beauty. It's a water activated paint and I'm dipping an eyeliner in there to create a makeshift dotting tool. I'm placing dots all around my eyes. This will help make my eyes appear larger as some of the dots are placed outside my orbital bone. I'm putting some of that paint on an old spoolie and using that to create fake freckles. It's a bit too subtle to see in camera, but it was really cute in real life. All right, that's the final look. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We're trying to hit 1000 subscribers so that we can start doing polls and live streams so that you can have more input into the content that I create for this channel. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please let me know down in the comments below. Thank you to all of my subscribers. I appreciate you all very much and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.